laws. Yeah, there's some weird ones out there. And as we grow as a society, it's only going to get weirder. So today I decided to browse the internet for the weirdest laws I could find. And as the list goes on, it progressively gets weirder. In Oregon, it's illegal to practice occult arts. Now, a lot of you are like, what the fuck is an huh? occult art? Because that's what I said when I first read it. Well, an occult art is basically like fortune telling or card readings or anything like that. And to be honest with you, I got to say W Oregon because they're what? Taking your money to just read a crystal ball because in my personal opinion that sounds like a scam to me dude i would genuinely much rather use that money to buy a full course meal at denny's than do that shit in oklahoma it's illegal to eavesdrop some people are kind of put in a situation where they're kind of forced to hear other people's conversations and you just have to tune it out but bro if you're going out of your way to seek out somebody's conversation doing a little cartoon tiptoe down the hallway peeking your head in like if you look like this guy right here bro you're just weird like why are you doing that like calm down unk put down the jar that's not gonna help you here any further canadian radio stations must play canadian artists at least 35 percent of the time i honestly don't really know much canadian artists you got the sausage slinger the goat himself aubrey graham then you got the weekend justin bieber i mean who else but compared to what we got next this one is not super crazy i'm sure other countries have that kind of law too but to be honest with you nobody listens to the radio anymore and it's for that reason they just play the same songs over and over again everybody uses spotify apple music music or any other platform like that in kansas it's illegal to serve ice cream on cherry pie i don't care what anybody says ice cream and pie is like the most lethal combination ever i don't care if i get held at gunpoint i'm still eating ice cream and cherry pie out of you whoever invented this law i guess he got some deep rooted beef with cherry pie because my question is why specifically cherry pie and to whoever is making these laws what the fuck are you on because i need to have some of that shit. in georgia it's illegal to consume fried chicken by any other means than with your hands sometimes bro the chicken's got like buffalo sauce on it bro i'm not trying to get buffalo sauce all over my fingers bro i see all these people eating spicy ass foods on youtube and shit they got gloves on bro and they got them on for a reason if i poke my eye it's wraps dude it's over but all right bro if i was legally required not to use a fork i guess i'll do it bro because one time when i was at a sushi restaurant the waiter called me a fork guy and i never fucking lived that down since in florida it's illegal to sing in your swimsuit like i mean bro who is singing in public anyways if you're just some average joe nobody planned on singing in their swimsuit anyway because at least me i'm not the next coming of michael jackson if i try to raise my voice to a higher octave i'm gonna have 50 voice cracks before that wow i'm just gonna leave right in well if i bring my speaker to the beach and i just start singing in public no one's gonna want to hear me sing bro they're gonna start throwing fucking volleyballs at me and tell me to shut up in california it's illegal to take a bath while eating an orange what's so bad about eating an orange in the bathtub what do y'all got against oranges why are you hating i would argue that oranges are one of the best fruits out there they're at least in the top three i don't want to hear it that would be a heat bath everybody gassing up bubbles like in the little spongebob bottle nah get the fuck out of here oranges that's what really makes a bath a bath so i guess i'm not moving to california then like they're just doing some crazy ass gatekeeping over there in michigan it is illegal to tie a crocodile or an alligator to a fire hydrant who is doing that who is going out of their way to tie a crocodile to a fire hydrant somebody must have decided to try it if the law exists you feel me and i'm surprised this law isn't in florida i mean they basically roam the goddamn streets down there like i'm starting to think that alligators are gonna take over down there there. I've seen so many of them, but none of which that I've seen were tied to a fire hydrant. So where the f did you get the idea to create this law from goddamn it's illegal to bite your landlord in maine i mean biting anybody in general is weird why specifically your landlord bro like i could really only imagine how that would go little bro it's the end of the month your rent oh what the f Somebody call animal control. What the heck? There was definitely some psycho ass motherfucker out there that decided to give this one a go. There's a bunch of crazy ass people on this earth. And one of those people had to be crazy enough to do that shit. In Georgia, it is illegal to tie a giraffe to a telephone pole or a street lamp. Okay, so I think the first thing we gotta discuss is how the hell do you even get a giraffe? Like, I guess whoever made this law is acting like people travel the world via giraffe. Like, no, bruh. Nobody is getting access to a giraffe unless you're like a zookeeper 
that's in their habitat or something. I don't know. But even if you did try to tie it to a pole, it would fucking beat the shit out of you before that could even happen. Female giraffes can be up to 14 feet tall, bro. They beating Shaquille O'Neal in the paint. So obviously, I'm not trying to step up to the goddamn paint. In Canada, it's illegal to bring a llama to a national park. Again, nobody owns a pet llama. Nobody. Or maybe there'll be that one person in the comments. Oh, well, actually, I own a pet llama and I bring it to the park every single day. If you own a pet llama, Jesus Christ, it's 2024. I don't know. You do you, I guess. Me personally, I'm not getting a pet llama. Like, what would I look like if I bring a fucking llama to a dog park? Everybody's just gonna start staring at me. It's illegal to build a sandcastle in Spain. I was a D1 sandcastle merchant back in my days. Like, what else am I gonna do on the beach? When I would go to the beach as a kid, my parents would pack me with an assortment of buckets, bro. I was ready to go. And what would happen if a cop saw me building a sandcastle? Would he just come over and just punt that bitch like Steven Gaskowski? That would just suck, bro. If I was a kid and somebody just came and kicked my sandcastle, that would absolutely crush me. I guess Spain's sleeping on their future architects, bro. Like, wake up, bro. I'm sure they're over here building sand sculptures and shit. In England, you can't hold salmon suspiciously. What does that even mean? What does it mean to hold it suspiciously? Like, pause? Like, what, what are you doing to the salmon? Why are you holding it like that, dude? But nah, in all seriousness, though, I think the law was made. If, like, people had reason to believe that it was illegally fished, I guess you would be suspiciously holding salmon. Like, how do you even tell if somebody's holding it suspiciously? I don't know. I guess that they're, like, trembling in their boots or something as they're walking away with it. In New York, it's illegal to shine your shoes after 1 p.m. on a Sunday. I don't care what the law says. I'm not walking out the crib with dusty-ass shoes. Like, trust me, I'm just like that. They won't see me. I'm just confused as to why on Sunday. Like, we need to have a conversation. Those are the days of family functions. I'm getting cooked at the function if I pull up with some dusty ass beater shoes. If I walk around with shined shoes, are these motherfuckers just gonna come up behind me and say, Freeze, please step into the vehicle. And if that's the case, you could just have my fucking shoes. I don't care. I I'm not giving up my freedom for shiny shoes. In Virginia, it is illegal to hunt on Sundays unless you're killing raccoons. What is Virginia's problem with raccoons? I mean, what do they really do? Just eat out of the trash? I guess they have a point. I don't know. And I don't know what their deal is with Sunday either. Like, I guess in older times, Sunday was meant as a day of rest. And you would just spend it with your family or friends. So I guess that's why these lawmakers have serious beef with Sundays. In New Jersey, it is illegal to purchase ice cream after 6 p.m. Literally everybody buys ice cream after 6 p.m. I guess everyone's just getting arrested now. With all these weird-ass laws, bro, everybody he's gonna be going to jail like how are they gonna have enough room in the prisons and i looked even further into this and apparently you need a doctor's note huh the fuck is that gonna do like since when do you need permission from somebody to eat ice cream that is just insane what kind of weird ass fantasy is new jersey living in i don't fucking know in samoa it's illegal to forget your wife's birthday i mean shit forgetting somebody's birthday is so fucking awkward right i understand that people got shit going on and they're not gonna plant in the back of their head that it's my birthday but yeah forgetting your wife's birthday is pretty fucking awkward i'm not gonna lie but the last thing i would expect is the fbi at my door if i forgot my wife's birthday and how would they be able to tell? Like, would my wife just snitch on me? Like, officers, he forgot my birthday. And it's wraps. It's over. In Switzerland, you cannot flush the toilet after 10 p.m. Looks like I'm going to jail. Sorry, those nighttime shits just have to happen, bro. They hit so different. And I'm not trying to make my bathroom smell like ass. I'm going to have to have, like, 50 different candles in the bathroom to just get rid of that smell. And if somebody walks in and drops a truck driver-ass shit, like, am I not going to be able to flush the toilet? Like, hell not, dude. You're straight tripping if you think I'm doing that. Switzerland, y'all gotta get your fucking shit together. No pun intended, I swear to God. In Florida, there is no farting on Thursdays after 6 p.m. I'm not holding it, bro. I don't care, bro. I'm ripping straight ass. I would rip ass in front of a cop. And honestly, I gotta watch the fuck out, bro. I'm going to Florida soon, so uh, I just can't rip ass on Thursdays, I guess. And I'm for certain gonna have to limit my bean and burrito consumption. Because those two items alone will cause many, many natural natural disasters in your stomach. Trust me, I've experienced it. At a French beach, you can only wear a Speedo as a guy. Yeah, I'm not pulling up. I'm 100% cool off the French beaches, bro. I'm not trying to have my cheeks hanging out at the fucking beach. Pulling up in a Speedo should be a fucking crime in itself. That shit's public humiliation. You know, I always did want to go to Paris, but yeah, this makes me change my mind real fast. There is no way a Speedo will be in proximity of my Johnson. The weirdest law of all time. 
ever created has gotta be in Arcadia, a region in Greece. Peacocks have the right of way. And more technically, they are very sacred animals and they need- I'm not getting bitched by a peacock. I'm sorry, dude. It's just not happening. If they're standing there waiting to cross, I'm zooming right by. Is their dead ass gonna take years to cross the street? If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy my playlist of a bunch of other videos just like this. Go watch it right now.